During Girls and Boys Education Movement training camps, we want to um, develop the agency of young people and we want them to be able to go back to school and identify issues, social issues that affect them directly within their schools and in the immediate communities and then to be able to formulate solutions and be able to implement those particular solutions in their particular schools. We know for a fact that it is always better when they learn between and amongst themselves. We call that peer education. They then engage on particular issues in a, a constructive way, but also in a play-based way. We had to sing, we had to dance, we had to go on stages, like um, have some fun, like and get to know a lot of people and have um, conversations. We learned how we can communicate better, how we should um, interact and how we should um, express ourselves better. So there are many types of communication. Who knows any type of communication? The, the environment itself is very welcoming and the community that they create is quite an understanding. Hi! Hi! Hi Your name is Chloe! Chloe! Hi! Hi! There are some of the learners that came here and they were so shy. They were not participating during the sessions. But today, they were different. They were participating. They wanted to lead the icebreakers. They wanted to lead the kilos. As an educator, it gives me hope uh, that our learners, they're not entirely lost. What they learn here at the camp, they can go out into the world and apply it firstly at school. And then obviously, if the school improves and develops, so does our communities. The skills that we give them now are skills that they're going to be able to use in future as they progress within their high schooling system, as they go into tertiary or higher education. I see a lot of bright future within these kids because uh, within the mentality that they came with at first and within the two days that we've been with them, there's a certain change that we could see.